essentially that's it. it the floor is going to need to be repaired. As you can see with the toilet, it's a little bit leaky. There's some water damage. Okay, that's not a problem for investors. That's not a problem because that means money in the bank. All right. So the more value that the investor has to add, the, the, the hopefully the less we can get uh, get it for to do better in their business. But I also have to. I don't know how to do it. Hey everyone, listen, we are in this beautiful Detroit house. Uh, you know, down here, we are close to eight mile. Um, you know, so I'm on this appointment. It is on the lockbox, so the, oh, the seller's actually not here. So I figured I'd bring you guys along to kind of see what I look for in a property and kind of, you know, my, when I take pictures, I like to focus on all the bad problems as well as the good to show the investor everything and give them the scope of the work of everything that goes on okay so first things first is these hardwood floors here i'm telling you they don't look great but i you know you give them a nice sanding and give them a refinish and this is money saved in the bank okay um you could put lvp throughout this it might be a little bit cheaper who knows um but that's one of the charms about detroit is the uh, the nice character and if you look at the ceiling we got these nice rounded corners here I uh, you know this is character but you know you might have to bring some of this plaster back who knows uh, when somebody comes to flip this house they're gonna take all of that in account so we're gonna come in this is just the living room it's a small living room but we got a dining room over here the good thing about this house here is actually the windows they are vinyl they are not wood so the good the reason i say that is because if they're wood probably they have lead-based paint they have to be encapsulated there's more money with them being vinyl they last a little bit longer as well as the investor probably does not have to replace them okay uh now we still make sure that they work and everything and they're not broken so they don't have to replace them but these look like good windows all, all around. The only ones that possibly need to be replaced are actually the ones in the basement. Um, we'll get to that in, in, in a moment. So we're gonna come through here. Before we head to the kitchen, we're gonna actually head to the bathroom and to, this is only a two bedroom. I, I came in thinking it was a three because that's what I was told. Unfortunately, that does affect the value. So what we're doing is, is we, uh, we're gonna go back and run our comps to make sure that we can give a, a proper offer. So let's go on over to the bathroom here. As you can see, coming through the through here, the, the floors actually get kind of worse. So um, coming through here, there's some water damage, so there's gonna be need some actual repair through here. Then I come into the bathroom, we got some decent tile coming over here. If we can bring you on over here, we can show you some, some tile that's already been done, but we need to make sure that's done right. So I don't know if it's done right or not, uh, but an investor will. We'll have them look at the photos and, and check that out. Come through here. This is basically a, this bathroom is a gut job, okay? It's essentially, that's it. it the floor is gonna need to be repaired. As you can see with the toilet, it's a little bit leaky. There's some water damage, okay? That's not a problem. For investors, that's not a problem because that means money in the bank, all right? So, the more value that the investor has to add, the, the, the hopefully the less we can get uh, get it for. Coming through here, as you can see, there used to be a leak right about here. How you know? This right here. The, this is wood flooring, and, and what happens when wood flooring gets wet? It buckles. So it comes up through here, and it actually kind of steams down here. So if all of this would actually have to come out. Some replacement boards come in. And, and you know a flooring expert would actually do that uh, so uh, you know it's, it's just a nice patchwork that would have to be done so other than that this is just a standard bedroom we'll come through here 
Again, we got the vinyl windows and everything. You're gonna have to just replace some screens, but that's that's not a big deal. Uh, you know, do some chipping paint, some some patchwork, things like that um, on these walls. And a lot of this is because it's old paint. Okay, so they they chipped it. You, you just chip this away. Um, prepare the surface for some new paint and and call it a day. So bedrooms are easy. Okay. Um, usually bedrooms are easy. We're gonna go right behind the camera over here. We're gonna go into the second bedroom and essentially the second bedroom is gonna be the same thing, all right? The good thing is, is this doesn't have any buckling going on in our flooring, so flooring, this is relatively easy. We got some chipping paint on the ceilings. Again, we're just gonna scrape that. We're gonna make sure we prepare the surface properly, do any patchwork that needs to be done, and then we're gonna paint it. All right, so uh, I originally, with this being a three bedroom, originally thought this the ARV on this was gonna be 140 with a three bedroom in this area. Um, I don't know that yet. Uh, maybe I'll put uh, the actual ARV that I think it is uh, below. I'm sorry for the lighting. We don't, I don't have a camera crew. I'm shooting this on my phone. My friend's actually shooting this. So I appreciate his help. So all I'm trying to do is just record what I do. Uh, so hit the like button, comment down below if you like these type of videos, I'll do a little bit more of them. Uh, so we're gonna go back, head towards the kitchen. All right, so we're gonna come back through here. <clears throat> so as you can see, they had a tenant, uh, they had a tenant in here, they got evicted a while ago, um, and they probably had a dog or whatever, and, and, and they just neglected it. So. We got some more ceiling chipping paint up the ceiling. Um, essentially, he probably fixed the, the roof where all this is coming from. I don't know, um, but there's no current leaks. That's the good thing. So uh, we got the flooring. We're gonna have to rip this whole flooring up as far as, and then and fix any buckling that that's gonna be here. This is the kitchen. It's a decent layout for a Detroit property. Got more vinyl windows here. Probably have to clean that up. <clears throat> We're gonna come through the back here. And as you can see, they had a dog got chipped up. All the doors are gonna to need to be basically be replaced in this house. Uh, you know, come forward and come through the back here. And this is like the back of the house. This is like a, a, a wood addition because this is actually an all brick house. So, but this leads down to the basement. Let's head down to the basement here. It's gonna be a little bit dark and dingy, so don't get scared if you're watching this. All right. So as you can see, that door needs to be replaced. They did replace a um, a screen with a, a screen door just for uh, security purposes. Come down through here. All right. So we're in the basement. And sorry if it's a little bit too dark down here. I don't know. How's the lighting look? Looks good. All right. He says it looks good. So come down through here. Everybody's going to look through this as like a disaster. I'm going to look at this and I'm like, okay, I don't see running water. I'm happy. Okay. I don't see bowing water, bowing uh, walls. I'm happy. So that's the main things I look at. But here in Detroit, Unfortunately, a lot of times they take the hot water tank and they take the furnace, okay? Well, the furnace was so old, I, I think that they just left the furnace over here. <laughs> so, but they took all the duct work and everything, so that's all gonna have to be redone. We're gonna come over here, and as you can see, like, I don't see any standing water anywhere. Uh, there's a couple little, little places in the corners, but those are normal for a Michigan basement. There's some seepage coming in through theirs, and it could be just caused by downspouts. Don't know, or it could be caused by the broken windows that we have. Who knows? So I'm gonna say, do the cheapest thing first and go from there. Now, how I look at these walls here, well, at the moment, they, they don't look like they're bowing at all, but I always just kind of look down and with my eyeball just to make sure that they're not coming out and then coming back in. I always look at that. Th these are not, which is thank God. All right. 
Because when you have bad foundation, unfortunately, sometimes it's just not worth it. All right, depends on the area. Um, and your buyer pool actually slims down to the people that would actually take on that work. Okay, so far, everything's been cosmetic. It's been normal renovation. If I were to add in foundation work, now my buyer pool, you know, goes from say a uh, thousand people down to maybe 750 to 500 people. And I'm just using those round numbers for an example. Okay. So we're going to come over here. We look up at these rafters to make sure that there's no, there's no, uh, uh, rot or there's no notches cut in to make sure that, you know, and usually we would see something up top that would indicate maybe a little bit of slope, a little bit of foundation. Here, everything is good. Uh, you know, we are going from there. We just want to make sure plumbing's good. We always look at the intake from the water, okay, the water meter. So we come over here, we look at the water meter, and everything is good on the water meter. And this is why I think that this water over here that came from the window, because the window is broken out over here. We got three broken windows out over here, and that's basically leading out right here. So I don't think it's coming from the foundation. I, I don't see any cracks in the foundation or anything like that. So let's head on back upstairs. We'll give it a closing and then kind of go from there. So I want to off with this house. I think it's a, a great house. It'd probably make a good flip. I got to look at the numbers again. Um, when I was coming in here and I was thinking it was a, when I was thinking it was a three bedroom, then I think the ARV is about a 140, okay? Being a two bedroom, that might be a little bit lower. I don't know yet. We have to see. Um, at this moment, uh, I'm thinking that this probably needs about fifty to $60,000 worth of work, okay? A rough estimate. And for a two bedroom, I'm not sure it's gonna be worth it or not, but it definitely will make a great rental for somebody, okay? Because I think on section eight for a two bedroom in this area, um, you can at least get $1,100 a month. So with that, anything that any updates or if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, we'll check this out and go from there. And this is in Detroit on Indiana Street. Have a good day. Let's all do deals together. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I